Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jamo, and I'm excited today to bring you uh, Living in Miami Beach uh, from Kansas to Miami Part 3. So without a further ado, let's get into it. So, yeah, um, you know, the other day I was looking at my YouTube comments and, and I ran across one that really kind of piqued my interest, you know, uh, on the video Living in Miami Beach from Kansas to Miami, which if you haven't seen it already, you can watch it here or here or somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in the link. But anyways, in it, one YouTuber raised the question of why, you know, I, you know, a laid back, nice Midwestern guy uh, would want to move to the hustle bustle city of Miami, you know, and, you know, and to be honest, you know, the real answer to that question will probably have to be revealed in another video because it's, that's a whole nother backstory, you know, but however, his point was interesting. So I've decided to statistically look at the differences between Miami and my old stomping grounds of uh, Kansas City. Okay. So, yeah. So, I mean, you know, when you look at the stats, and I'm I'm going over Kansas City uh, first, I, and you know I'm just getting this off of you know U.S. News real estate, so you know I'm not doing a deep dive research report you know on these two cities, just some simple brief you know you know research statistics. But anyways, when you look at it, I mean the quick stats you see uh, you know the metro area of Kansas City is about two about two million. Uh, the average annual salary they're saying is about forty-seven thousand. So I think that's a little, a, a, a tiny bit above average. I think the average, you know, nationally is about forty-five thousand. Um, now, what the big when we look at you know the difference between Miami and Kansas City, I think the big difference here is you're going to see that that uh, in Kansas City the average monthly rent is eight hundred forty-five dollars. And you know I've been living here in Miami Beach, you know, for a year now, and I can tell you, you know, you're gonna, uh, you know, a studio. Just just a studio, like 400, 500 square feet, is going to run you about 1,200, you know. So once we, so we'll talk about that, but that's definitely going to be a big difference. Um, one thing that I noticed here, uh, Kansas City, it says out of, you know, it's, you know, you, the U.S. News is taking 100 of the, the biggest metropolitan areas and says that Kansas City ranks number 48. So, so that's, that's interesting. We'll see what Miami's is. And, um, but obviously you see this weather, uh, it says 64 degrees is the high, average high, 44 is the average low. Obviously weather-wise, we know that Miami, you know, Miami, Miami Beach, you know, it doesn't even compare. We all know the weather's better here in Miami. That's without question. So anyways, like I said, I think like at, right now we're about to look into the Miami statistics. And I think the big difference you'll see is between the average monthly rent. Without further ado, let's get into the uh, statistics for Miami. Quick stats here. Um, obviously, comparing it, you see that, you know, Miami, the area, there's more people, there's, you know, it's, yeah, there's a ton more people here. It says there's about five, almost almost six million people here in the metro area of uh, Miami. I think Miami-Dade, I guess. Um, you see that the, actually the average annual salary actually is a little bit less than Kansas City. It's about 40. So it's about, it's about, it's about right for the national average, I think. Um, now, this is, now, this is the big thing, like I said. You see that the average monthly rent is about a thousand a hundred fifty dollars. So that's almost three hundred three fifty three hundred fifty more dollars um, compared to Kansas City average monthly rent. So that in and of itself is that's a big difference. I mean that's that's huge for sure without question. Um, and another thing that I noticed here is that uh, as you can see is that Miami. Uh, out of the 100 metropolitan areas in, in the U.S. that they've chosen, that um, U.S. News has chosen to, uh, to evaluate, uh, it's number 92nd, which I, and I think Kansas City was number 48th. So, I mean, you know, obviously, when you talk about the weather, when you talk about things to do, obviously Miami uh, is, is superior, I would say, to Kansas. When it's coming to living and a place to live, obviously the U.S. News is saying that Kansas City is better. So... You know, that's definitely interesting uh, for sure. So when you look at just the quick stats, you know, Kansas City, Miami, when it comes to, you know, money and monthly rent, you know, for the everyday working man, you know, like myself and others, uh, it's obvious that I think Kansas might be the better option. And, I, and there's one more stat that I want to look at, I think that will really show uh, kind of, um, like I said, the, the YouTuber, there was a YouTuber who commented and who was basically saying this, and these stats are kind of proving his point. So let's look at uh, the last stats, the last statistics of Kansas City, Missouri, uh, Kansas City 
and Miami that I think drive point drive the point home that you know I think KC could be a better better place. <laughs> Last statistic that I want to show is the index score. Uh, the U.S. Real News, which the way they kind of come up with the score is basically they take, um, they look at, you know, how much it, the monthly cost of living compared to the average uh, income of the residents of w whichever city. And so that's kind of the way that they, you know, base these, um, base the, the index score. And so when I look at this, uh, you look at Kansas, you look at Kansas City, you know, KC Mo 816-913 all day, you see... <laughs> You, you see that their um, score is, I think, 7.9. I think it was, hold up, let me see, let me check. I think it was 7.9, 7.8, or something like that. And you see that, um, no, 7.5, I'm sorry. And you see that uh, Miami's is 2.9. So that's crazy. For me, that's crazy to me. But anyways, that just proves the point that KC, when it comes to living, just in general, just for the working man, is it could might be a better option. So maybe I should have stayed home in Kansas. <laughs> maybe that YouTube commenter was right. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask. If you want to make any comments, please write below. You, you notice I do pay attention. I make videos off of your comments and, and whatnot. So I do pay attention to you guys' comments. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, have a good day.